Welcome back to the lab, folks. So today we're going to carry on with our uh, little programmable timer here. Now, if you go back to the previous episode, and I'll leave a link to that down below, you'll see where we actually designed this using the schematics for the various modules that we have, such as the uh, keyboard, the display, and of course, there's these, an LED here for notification, as well as a beeper. And we've got our little development board, our little pickaxe development board here to program the chip. And uh, this is the configuration that I use to actually write the software. So the software is running right now. Sorry that this, this, this LED display has got a, a missing segment on it. But we'll have to do that. That is a P for programming. So it's, it, you boot it up, it comes up in programming mode. And then you can use the uh, switches here uh, to actually program it. So the second switch here adds five minutes at a time. I need to do a little bit of uh, additional debouncing in my circuit. This one here resets it. The th third button over here adds one hour at a time, 60 minutes. And we can reset it. So let's put it five minutes here. And then we just press this one here, start it going. So C is in count mode. Once it counts down through to zero minutes, it'll go into alarm mode. To actually show you a little bit of the code here, we'll just scroll through it and uh, you could stop it. I'm going to put a link to that also down if anybody's interested in seeing what the code looks like. Like I say, it's not perfected yet. I still have to handle some of the debouncing chores a little bit better. And there it is in an alarm situation. So notification at the time has expired. So you get an A and you can press any button on this keyboard here should take it out of this and return it back to programming mode. And it remembers the last time you put in it so that if you want to repeat that again. And for my particular purposes, this is exactly what I want it for. It's just when I'm out on a walk with my dog to give me 15 minutes between each time so I have to put drops in his eyes because of his dry eyes problem. So I wanted to come back again, I, you know, once it alarms, I'll put the drops in the eyes and then I want it to come right back again so that I can just click the button here again and start it right back off counting again. So it looks like the software is working 90% the way I want it to. I also, uh, the, the little warble that you heard there, I kind of want to tailor that a little bit more, maybe play around with different things, make it sound a little bit more pleasant. He thinks this is a very odd sound, so <laughs> we'll work with that. But uh, I did have a board made up for this at PCB way and here it is. So let's open this up and have a look. It should incorporate everything that we see here, except for the ability to program. And today what I'm going to do is I'm going to build up two of these. The reason being is that I have uh, another engagement today. So, ah yes, PCB, 10 years. They just finished off their, their 10th anniversary. And I mentioned in the last two videos, I hope you had a chance to get over there and check out what they had. They were giving away quite a bit of stuff. Anyway, let's get into these boards. Okay, so one of them I'm gonna build up uh, just uh, to make sure the whole thing works properly. And the other one I'm going to build up to fit into the case. So it's got to fit into one of these plastic cases, one of these here. Anyway, so uh, let me build one up and uh, we'll come right back and we'll put this chip in it and we'll test it out, make sure that it works. All right, I think I've got all the parts ready here. My iron is warming up. I gotta get my sponge wet. I'll be right back. Okay. Let's get this built and I'll meet you back at the end.
Okay, here we are, we're all finished. I got the beeper here, and I got power hooked up to it. And we've got to set at five volts, and I've put the current limit at uh, 80 milliamps, because this doesn't draw much. And uh, let's hope it works. These are the same chips I had in the uh, prototyper. So it should all work exactly the same, provided I got the circuit board right, because the power. So that's the default to go into program mode and uh, we could add five minutes at a time. We can reset it. We can add 60 minutes at a time. And we can start the count. It goes into count mode. Now there's another feature uh, in count mode. If you press this button here until this digit here goes to one, then it aborts out of count mode and goes directly into the alarm mode like that. And you can get out of that by pressing any button. And then you go back into program mode with the last uh, time that you entered into it. So you can just like so. And uh, that's it. So double thumbs up. That's uh, a success in my books. And uh, uh, thanks again to PCBWay for making this possible. Now I'm not going to put it into this case in this video, this case here because I've got to kind of balance all the heights of the buttons. Now I've got some of these switches coming here with extra long knobs on them. And when that occurs, when I get uh, those switches in, I'll then adjust the heights of the different uh, elements like this uh, display here, the LED and so forth, so they can all can come through kind of at the right levels here on the top. As it stands right now, um, these socketed chips here are actually just a tiny bit higher than this. So this would have at least have to be moved up like a couple of millimeters or the thickness of the plastic. And uh, these uh, switches here are going to have to be quite a bit longer. So maybe, you know, uh, can you see what I'm doing here? So maybe about that long. And uh, then we can put it in here. And I'm going to put a, a charge module in, a lithium ion battery, and then a boost converter. Take the 3.7 volts of the lithium ion battery up to 5 volts for this. Probably I just put a little toggle switch in there to power on and off. And uh, I'll, you know, I'll make a video of that. I may not. It depends on what you guys put in the comments, whether you want to see the video of that or not. Thanks for coming on out for this little project. I think it, uh, it demonstrates quite well what the modular design is all about. Although the last video, um, <laughs> last video didn't get many views. In fact, it, it pissed off somebody so much that they uh, unsubscribed. But for those of you that are here, thank you very much coming out. Thanks again to PCB Way, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, guys.